Hi guys, welcome back to the Maybelline Makeup Loft. My name is Shanae and today I'm going to be doing this beautiful, colourful rainbow look for Pride Month. So before we get straight into this makeup tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to the Maybelline Makeup Loft, like the video and comment down below and let us know what videos you guys want to see and let's just get straight into it. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my eye makeup. I'm going to take my Master Conceal Concealer in the color Fair and I'm going to apply this with a brush and then I'm going to blend it out with a sponge so I get a really nice smooth blank canvas and I'm also not going to set this because I want it to be kind of sticky and tacky. I want those bright colors to really pop on my eyes. So the palette I'm going to start off with is the Lemonade Craze palette and I'm going to take the yellow. I'm going to pack this on the inner corner crease area of my eye. I'm not going to worry about blending too much just yet. I'm just going to really pack it on so I get that pigment and then I'll go in with a smaller brush just to kind of buff that out. Now taking my Graffiti Pop City Mini palette, I'm going to take that beautiful blue and I'm going to pack this on kind of the center of the eye. And once I've got it on, I'm just going to slowly blend that up and also into the yellow. I'm going to use tiny little like windshield wiper motions. I did purposely place the yellow and the blue right next to each other because I kind of wanted to create a green in between them. And as you can see, as I'm blending, you can kind of see that little green color coming through. And for the outer corner of the eye, I'm going to take this purple shade, again packing it on and then just slowly blending it out. These looks look complicated, but they're really not. It's just all about patience. So just pack it on and then just slowly blend it out and it will all come together. I think if I had to pick a favorite color from today's look, I think it would have to be the yellow. It's just a gorgeous yellow and it's so pigmented and easy to work with. I kind of want to do an all yellow eye. I should do that soon. And going back into the Lemonade palette, I'm just using that creamy kind of white shade on the brow bone just to kind of help blend all these colors together and have a really smooth edge. Okay, so since I had that purple on the outer corner, I wanted to go in with this kind of raspberry shade because I knew it would probably blend in really well with it. So I'm just working this on the outer corner and just blending those two shades together very delicately, I guess. And then I'm going to go back into the Lemonade palette and I'm going to take the orange and I'm going to blend this onto the inner corner. And again, I thought it would work well because I did have the yellow there as well. So this is just me admiring my work <laughs> and now I'm going in with this shimmery kind of champagne shade and I'm going to put this on the brow bone because I always love a bit of shimmer. So we've almost finished the eyes. I'm going to curl my lashes and I'm going to use my Lash Sensational Mascara. And I also do put on some falsies. They're not too big. I went for something a little bit more subtle today. So I didn't want to do anything dark today, so I ended up using my tattoo liner in the color Sparkling Silver, just to keep the look really bright and fun. And for foundation, I'm using my Maybelline Superstay foundation. This one's in the color Soft Beige. I actually realized that I totally forgot to prime. <laughs> I don't know why. And my skin was feeling super oily on this day. That's why I ended up using this foundation and I also do bake my face like you'll see later it's pretty crazy so once I've smoothed all that foundation out with my beauty sponge I'm going back in with my master conceal and I'm going to put this under my eyes on my forehead and on my chin I do realize that my foundation was a little bit dark but I was so pale I had no fake tan on so I just kind of brought it down my neck Okay, so here comes the baking. I'm going to use my Fit Me loose powder and I'm going to pretty much bake my whole face. My skin was so oily on this day. I don't know if it was hormonal or what was going on, but I was like, you know what? I need to powder this whole face. So I let this sit for a couple of minutes and then I brush it off. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so once I've dusted off all that powder, I'm just going to finish off my eyes with bottom mascara. I like to leave this till later because I don't like getting face powder in them. It's really weird, but it honestly happens to me. Now taking my favorite face palette, I'm going to start off with the contour shade to start warming up those cheeks and giving my face a bit of shape. So I'm putting this around my cheek area, around my jawline and also my forehead. I did have a bit of skin texture on this day, which you can kind of see on camera. I do kind of fix that up later though. And now I'm taking the blush from that palette and I'm going to run it a little bit along my nose as well. This is something I always like to do. I feel like it gives my face a bit of life. Now we're going back in with the powder because I didn't have enough before and I'm just going to clean up that contour and also this helps the skin texture hide a little bit. And since we were doing a really fun look today, I ended up going in with my Master Holographic Highlighter. I thought this would just kind of suit the whole theme. It's got that really nice glow to it as well. We're almost done. I'm just going to brush off that bake that I've got on my face and then we're going to go in with our lip color. And for my lip color today, I'm going to take this lipstick in the color 373 Mauve for me. And oh my God, this was the creamiest, most moisturizing lipstick I've ever used. I had a lot of trouble trying to pick a color for this look because you know, it's so colorful, but I'm really happy with how it turns out. And whatever color lip you want, go for it because this is Pride Month and it's your time to just let all your colors go crazy. But anyway, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so you guys are notified every time we upload new videos and comment down below and let us know what videos you guys want to see and I will see all of you beautiful people next time. Bye!